Hey friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to add headers and footers to your Google Docs document. Now here I have a Google Docs document here guys, it's one page and I'm going to add a header and a footer to it. So how do we do that? Now what you want to do, go to the menus from the upper left hand side and you want to click on insert. So once you click insert, you want to go down to headers and footers and you can choose between whichever you want. Now for the purpose of this video, I will insert both. So let's insert the header. So click on header and you can see it quickly makes a new section at the top of your document and it's blank. So you can choose to write whatever you want there. And you also have the options at the right hand side as well. So you can choose if you want to go ahead and format header. So you can say header format and you can click on that and you can play around with the inches and so forth, right? It's really up to you how you want to go ahead and play around with this. Now, for the purpose, I'm gonna simply just write something. So I'm gonna write Drew, for example, and yeah, I'm gonna leave it as that and I can bold this if I want as well. So this is just an example, right? So you can also insert, for example, an image there if you want. It's really up to you. Whatever you want to put in the editor, you can put there, even numbers as well. So this is how you insert the header, right? Now to do the footer, it's the same thing, right? So you want to go to insert again, and go down to headers and footers, and you want to click add footer. You insert that and it creates a section on the bottom of the document as well. Now you do the same, you can choose whatever you want. So let's say I don't want to put Drew here, but I would like to put like a page number. I can go to the options section and I can choose page number and I can choose whatever I want. Now, from here, you can go ahead if you want the footer to show on the first page or not, or you can choose the start page to what to where you want the number to start. So here you have the numbering and it says start at. You can choose, for example, a page two if you have a page two. In this case, I have only one page, so I'm going to leave it at one. And just simply click and apply and you will see that it adds the page number here. Now, and that's basically it, guys. Very easy and very simple. Now, guys, one last thing I would like to share with you in case you want to move the alignment or let's say you want to move the header to the right hand side or to the to the right hand side or the middle of the page or you also want to do the numbering it's very easy the, the best way how to do this is to use the alignment so let's say i would like to move drew to the center i can just simply go ahead and click on the header to make sure it's open and then i'm going to click on the align and indent and i put that to the middle and as you can see it will move that the same goes for if you want to put it towards the left hand side you can do the same and the same goes for the page numbering as well you can do the same thing right so that's it guys very easy and very simple